Humans are not more closely related to bonobos than we are to regular chimpanzees. T-Rex is not more closely related to chickens than it is to other birds. This is something that seems to confuse a lot of people. Smart people. So if you didn't know it already, that's so totally chill, I will explain it to you right now. Basically, if an animal or any other living thing is outside of an evolutionarily related group, it is equally closely related to all of the animals or living things that are inside of that group. So T-Rex T-Rex was not a bird, which means it was equally related to every bird. Likewise, humans are not in the genus Pan, which means we are equally related to Pan troglodytes, the chimpanzee, and to Pan paniscus, the bonobo. I have six biological first cousins, and all of us have a lot in common. One in particular looks way more like me than either of my siblings does, and also we just happen to have a lot of things in common. And that does not make us siblings, because it doesn't work like that. Similarly, if I had a first cousin who was really, really different from me, that wouldn't make us second cousins, because your relatedness to another living thing isn't actually about the traits that you have in common, it's about how far removed you are in generations from the last shared ancestor that you both have. The traits that you have in common are clues that we can use in science to determine how long ago that distance was, but the traits themselves aren't the thing that's causing the relatedness. 